Hey everybody, welcome back to our furniture flipping adventure. I'm Sarah and today I've bitten off a little more than I could chew. I really did not realize on the Facebook Marketplace post just how ginormous this piece was. But we're going to be splitting it up. I'm going to be working on this piece today and these two at a later time. But my plan when I saw, first saw this was that it was a little more, uh, I thought it would be like a cute little entryway, almost bench side, yeah. I really, really was wrong in how big it was. We're going to be taking this entertainment center and turning it into an entertainment center. So we're going to keep its purpose. It has all the drawers for that sort of thing. So I'm just going to be giving it an update and losing these two pieces. So come on, let's get flipping. All right, if you've been with the channel for any length of time, you know that I always start my pieces with a really good clean. I've got my degreasing crud cutter that'll get rid of dirt, grime, and oils and help my paint stick the best it possibly can. If you're new here, welcome to our adventure and we're gonna get started with cleaning. I got some fresh water in here to rinse my rag out. And then after I get done with my crud cutter, I'm gonna come through with a new bucket of very fresh water and wiping everything all back again just to make sure that my cleaner doesn't leave behind any funky residues. Wow, cars today. So I've already sanded this down by hand with a 220 just lightly to get rid of any shine that it had left on it and then I wiped all the sanding dust back off and I'm ready to give this piece its color. Now I'm going to be doing a black wash over it. This is something that I've not really done very much but I think that it could be a cool look for this piece so we're going to give it a try and if I hate it the good thing is I can just paint it over in black and nobody has to know but I'm going to be using my squirt bottle to wet everything down and I'm not actually going to water my paint down I'm just going to wet the piece and then I'm going to paint a section and then wipe it back with a rag that I cut out of some old bed sheets so let's go ahead and get started on that Now, if you are kind of OCD or you really need a lot of control, this kind of technique is probably not for you. It's kind of random and you never know exactly what's going to happen. So you got to be willing to just go with it. Now for everybody who thinks I'm crazy for wiping all my paint back off, don't worry. This is all part of the plan. I'm going to do a couple layers like this. It's just part of the process. Don't panic. <laughs> So I'm using the same rag for all of this and it actually is helpful once it gets saturated with paint then it doesn't take so much off. So I had that chunk of damage on the top 
that I filled in with Bondo and then sanded smooth and I'm just going to add a layer of shellac over that to prevent bleed through from where I broke through the surface. Now for my second coat, I used water sprayed directly onto every dip of my paintbrush. And I didn't wipe back nearly as much, but it still wasn't drippy and too wet, and that's really what I was trying to avoid. So the top is going to need to be a, a solid color to cover up that bondo. So I decided to kind of even it out by making the skirting around the bottom solid as well. And then after struggling with these drawer fronts a few more times and trying to get them to look exactly how I wanted to, I had enough paint on there that I decided they needed to be solid as well. So that's what we're going with. All right, everybody, the sun's setting, so I'm gonna keep it brief. I was nervous from the very start about doing the project. Black washing really isn't something you see very often, but I do think that it was a fun choice for this piece, and I do like how it turned out. It's definitely not everybody's style, but I think it is a different take on kind of a rustic, worn look, more unique than just white and distressed. So I enjoyed trying something different for a change. We kept the original hardware, our original cost for the whole set was $45, so if I say about $10 for the towers, that leaves this guy in at $25. My paint, we used $10 of paint, $5 in top coat, and that's really all we have in it. So we're in this project for $40 and I can't wait to get pictures of it and get it listed. But that's all I have for you today. Before the sun sets, I just wanna say bye and thanks for joining us and I'll see you guys next time on our furniture flipping adventure. Bye.